It's your girl Kateria, aka Casey Exposed. You're here on Are You Ready to Be Exposed? And today I have the honor to introduce lovely, talented Faye. Faye, say hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> She's right there. Yeah. Guys, watch out. <laughs> so uh, let's let's know a little bit about you. So um, who are you? Who are you? Am I? Uh, ident- well, who do you identify yourself as an artist? Um, well, I'm Faye, as was just said. <laughs> um, I guess musically, I would say I'm an electro R&B artist. Um, I've just been kind of working on my music for the past year, so I'm pretty new. Uh, but yeah, I'm from new Vancouver. And fabulous. Yes, <laughs> fabulous. Uh, from Vancouver, Canada. Yeah. Canada. Quirky, That's weird, weird awkward move. girl. Yeah. <laughs> if you need that citizenship, hit me up. I know, baby. <laughs> Looking for some. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so not only you're a singer, but you're also a songwriter, right? Yes. Singer, songwriter, sort of dancer, actor, yes. ex-model. Yeah. She's just everything. I do it all. I don't, it's not even called triple threat <laughs> at this point. It's just called like every threat. <laughs> Thank you. No. Well, yeah. So you said Vancouver, Canada, and you're in Boston. Mm-hmm. What made you come to Boston? I'm here. Uh, I go to Berkeley. I'm in my senior year. Berkeley's about to graduate. Music. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I came out here. I've been here for almost four years now. And then I'm off to L.A. in June. In June. Yeah. So how has Boston treated you? It's been good. It's been mm-hmm. great. Um, Perfect. Cold. Yes. Uh, winter's yeah. coming. Yeah. L.A. It hasn't was been definitely... bad yet, but here. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was for a little bit, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, I love Boston. Um, I love Berkeley. I love the community that I'm in. We have yeah. awesome people like you. Yes. <laughs> uh, Bring us all together. Um, but I think I'm ready to explore what else is out there for me. So what made point. you feel ready to explore? Was it, um, you know, being surrounded by other artists in Boston that inspired you? Or maybe your professors? Mm-hmm. Or maybe just the culture, the environment? Like, what made you make that change? Like, you know what? I'm going to pursue singing my seriously. I'm yeah. going to move to L.A. Because L.A. is a big, you know, big jump. I don't know. I think I've never moved anywhere. Yeah. So just moving anywhere is like a big jump for me. No, totally. <laughs> um, in terms of exploring my music, I've always, I've always wanted to be a singer and a performer. Uh, I used to want to do musical theater, actually. I was going to go for, to school for musical theater, but then I decided... I'm going to focus on, I'm going to do my, my music and spread my message. Um, and it took me a couple of years at Berkeley before I really felt comfortable to get up on that stage by myself and sing about my truth and my experience in my life. Um, but I think the thing that kind of pushed that was just having friends and a, a really strong support group that was there to push me along and made me feel safe to, to do that. To perform. Yeah, yeah, because like I feel like especially when you're writing your own song, Mm -hmm. um, you don't know if it's actually personal or about someone, so it's kind of like really exposing your feelings. No, totally. Um, What's the process of you writing a song? Is it just kind of like day by day, or you just like bang out a song in a day? Uh, It really depends on the song and the situation. Um, For Incredible, my single, you should check it out on SoundCloud. (laughs) Uh, That one... My friend sent me a beat, and I went into one of the practice rooms at school and just wrote about falling in love for the first time, which is what I was doing at the time, falling in love. (laughs) Um, So it really depends on the song and the situation. It's always different. Um, Recently, I've been having a bit of a hard time just kind of figuring out what I'm really trying to say, because things kind of get... Uh, diluted by other people's expectations and yeah. just life and busyness. So I'm trying to kind of get back to that. What true have you been doing to kind of get back to be um, focused? Right now, I just actually signed up for a really cool class at school. Oh, nice. um, and I think I just had my first class today, and I think my professor is really going to push me to challenge myself to reach in there and in there. take out all the hard stuff that you don't Find necessarily something. always, yeah. It's hard to, songwriting is really just about exploring yourself and it's not always easy, so it's Do you always like someone. write and then just kind of change your mind and you're like, no, I don't, I don't want to write that, I want to write something better? Or do you kind of go back and forth or 
if you don't, to the artists that are going back and forth, definitely mm-hmm. listen um, to some <laughs> some advice. You know what oh I mean? goodness, Our young woman leader, the hot okay? seat. Um, I get the seats. <laughs> well, do I go back or do I just kind of do it? Um, I used to like just writing in one go and mm-hmm. getting it all out there. And at the time, I thought, okay, I wrote the song, it's done. I can put it away or record it or it's as good as it's going to be. Um, but now I've been trying to kind of go back and dissect what I'm really trying to say and mm-hmm. make sure that the message is there and it's getting across and that the words are clear and still poetic and, you know, digestible. Um, so a bit of both, a bit of both. but I'm working on the editing process. Oh. It's hard. <laughs> so does the editing process take a while? Um, it can, it can, especially with working with a producer because mm-hmm kind of two minds trying to create this one thing and you don't always it's hard to communicate what you want and you don't always agree so yeah editing can be tough yes oh <laughs> yes I can imagine so when you go to LA what's mm-hmm. next for you are you bringing your producer with you or gonna still work with people from Boston what's next um what's going on Faye we gotta follow you yeah <laughs> <laughs> the life of Faye <laughs> um <laughs> From what I know, a lot of the musicians I work with will be moving to LA because that's kind of where, where things are happening. Are these some of the musicians that were in your video incredible? Yeah, yeah. They all so go or went to Berkeley. They're incredible musicians, the most wonderful people. Where'd you find these bunch? I mean, well, you said Berkeley yeah. in Boston, but like, did you just kind of connect on, hey, I'm well, Facebook. Facebook. Facebook is very helpful. Oh um, man, that Facebook. Yeah, it opens so many doors. It's actually <laughs> yes. kind of crazy. But uh, for specifically for the incredible video, um, my ex guitar player, because he's now on tour with an amazing artist named Holland. Oh, you should wow. check her out too. Holland, I'm um, gonna check her out. Yeah, she's cool. He he put us all together. He kind of I went to him and I was like, Alex, I have this idea for a show and I really want to play some music and I know you're great. Can you kind of help me put it together? And since day one, he's always been there to to have my back and help me when I need it. So he really really pulled me through that and help me get the band together and make the show that I wanted. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. So how many songs have you written yet? I So I've released one, Incredible, oh, um, and I'm currently working on another single called About Us, Ooh. which hopefully will be coming out in the next few months. Can we know a little bit of what it is? What it is? Or, yeah, um, I'm curious. <laughs> the name, like, got a little light in yeah. head. It's um, about us, okay. It's basically a story of these two people. Um, and <laughs> uh, basically... Are they being sexual? I no, don't know. No, 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 sex. I'm no, like, no, no. whoa, wait, what's the song? <laughs> it's very PG, I swear, <laughs> I swear. I swear. Uh, it's basically about this girl and this guy, and she's kind of talking to him and realizing that their relationship hasn't necessarily been about their relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, It's kind of been, at least for her and how she sees it, it's been about him kind of trying to find himself and using her and their relationship as a channel through which to do that. To do that kind of... And she's like, peace, I ain't got no time. Time. It's not about us, it's about you, so... Exactly, and that's going on. That's going on so much. It's crazy how you said it because... I feel like, you know, when artists come out with these songs that actually mm. that's going on, like, and, and I don't know if it's like a, I don't want to say like a trend, but what you just mentioned is like, it's me and my girl were just yeah. talking about at work. She's <laughs> like, oh my gosh, like, I'm not saying that I want to be on top of him, mm-hmm. but I just kind of feel like he's using this relationship, just kind of have the trophy yeah, girl, yeah. Or whatever it is. So it's not face whatever it is that he doesn't want to face, which is fine, you know, which is, yeah, it. which is fine, I but you know, face. yeah. So, what's a song that you love to sing that it's not your song? Ooh. I know, which is hard because it's just like, there's so So many many. artists out there. Um, To perform or just to sing for myself? Just for yourself. Um, Oh, goodness. Good question. Uh, What's something that I always sing? I love singing Inhale, Exhale by Nao. She's a UK artist. Actually, I did a show once 
uh, with that song and I forgot every single word <laughs> and I had to like basically freestyle it. I was making up the words on the spot. What? And how was, how was Nobody that? Knew. Was this your first performance? Or no, was it was like, like, I had done like five performances at this point. Um, and it was my second show doing this specific song. And I just got on stage and I was like, I don't remember a single word. So I just made it up. <laughs> she just made the song. That's yeah. awesome. Did you it was just? Hard. <laughs> was there a lot of like la 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 la? la. I don't know. Like, I can't. I feel like the adrenaline was a big part. Big in part. Me just... Being able to do it. Um, I made sure it all rhymed when it was supposed to rhyme, and I feel like the general awesome. idea was there. Wow. But that's yeah. beautiful because you're just natural. You can feel it. You know Thanks. what I mean? Yeah. It was. It was interesting. So, what is something that? you you were gonna miss about boston something i'm gonna miss yeah um and then and it could either be personal or about yeah. like the music scene like what is something that you're just like wow i leave to la i won't, won't be able to do that um <laughs> i'm gonna miss i feel like the community that i've been able to create for myself mm -hmm. here even though a lot of those people will be moving to yeah. la it's gonna be very different in LA because I feel like in LA everyone's kind of trying to do their thing for them mm -hmm. instead of with each other yes. and the people I've been able to surround myself with here have been really supportive and amazing and that's, that's like wonderful. I'll help you you help me and I don't know if it's always going to be like that in LA um that's what like you know um kind of like I was talking to you earlier when I'm mm -hmm. hoping that people bring that wherever they go because I really, really would love to just see just the community always growing and never yeah. being like, you know, like I said, envious about yeah. someone doing something that you might not be doing at that time, but when you do it, who knows if it's going to be hotter or not, yeah, you know? It's totally. always just like, ah. Oh. And yeah, it's it's like a rat race. It's like mm -hmm. a competition. Um, but it's also having those people that will be able to like support you and say, you yeah. know what, like... You sing, I do the drums. Yeah, I got you. You sing, yeah. I, got, I got you. You know, yeah. it's not more like, oh, you know what? I seen that you have no likes and yeah. not this or whatever the case may be. I don't want to, you know, work with you. And it's just kind of like, look at and my how, talent. How's anyone going to get anywhere how is it, if we all yeah. sing like that? Yeah. And then if you move alone, it's not like maybe that one person. It's like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I just thought of the weirdest <laughs> idea. It's just kind of like, you know, that like... When Swerve like trying to get his way, it's just like a one person. No, it's like it has to be <laughs> the one winner. Yeah. The one winner. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, no, it, this is actually an industry that is just w way better when there's just many leaders, many yeah. people pushing and um, creating. And what's what's like annoying is that like other cities have this. I mean, that's why everyone's yeah. going to them. Like, you know, I want to touch up on New York. New York has a style. New York has this type of environment that, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, psh, Jenny, you know, Lenny on the block is just going to come. <laughs> and, and, uh, like, and he's just going to yeah. um, have all this support and mm -hmm. have all these shows come in. And not to say that, you know, Boston is not like that. You definitely have to you know these people and mm -hmm. know who to go. But, like, you know, if you actually were to keep that environment together and that community is like, yo, I have this show, come over here, or, like, I want to do this video, yeah. or, you know what, even for people that are not performing, like, even producers or beats, like, you know what, I just yeah. did this hot beat. I want to see if it played play good to your voice, no, try totally. to see something to push it out. It's all about creating your profile. Well. Yeah, and I feel like, especially for creative industries, it's all about networking, but sometimes people forget that it's about networking for each other, not just for yourself. Like, I got my contacts, you got yours, let's, let's communicate do that. Like, why do you feel like you have to keep everything you know to yourself when we're all stronger together? Like, there's space exactly. for all of us if we want there to be. There is so much so, space. Yeah. So much space, but people, what's like, what's wrong with people? I don't I understand. <laughs> it's all about the me, 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 instead of the us. The us, yeah. Unfortunately, but... I feel like that's changing. So. Yeah, that's changing. Um, oh, it's just so sad to know you're leaving. But, um, you know, Faye will be, all her contacts are going to be here. So people from Boston, check people you. from Cambridge, MA, check her out, follow her, because she's definitely going to show us love. Yeah. Um, I know course. you are. Um, <laughs> you know what? Like, I want to get, like, a little cool. I want to start getting the calls in. Oh, the calls in. I'm going to put it up. 
Y'all call in if you want to. Um, I definitely would. Uh, yes, please do. <laughs> uh, but we'll definitely get that going. Let me just put this this cowl up. We got our number oh there, 617-876-055. But in the meantime, yes. um, let's, let, let's talk about some more stuff, too. Oh, it did, is somebody calling? I don't know. Let's see. Okay. I thought someone was calling. I heard like a little beep, but... Um, <laughs> All right, so, um, you know what? Before we get any callers, the show, Faye, the incredible Faye. <laughs> and that's exactly what you're going to see. This um, song is um, very unique and amazing and raw. And I think that that's a lot of the music that has to come back. And I'm not only saying that because Faye is on this show. Um, none of that. Wait, actually, we have a caller. Okay, we'll, we'll pick this up. We'll pick this up. Um, okay. Hello, how are you? You calling? Are you ready to be exposed? You got Faye right here. What's up? Oh! Psych. Psych. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. <laughs> um, well, That's you know. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man, but like, besides that, yes. we're just going to get to the video. Oh, oh. wait, okay. Take we two. We have some, like, take two. So, <laughs> we're going to, all right. Okay. Yeah. Let's Thank start. you. You calling? Are you ready to be exposed? You got Faye out here. What's up? Hello. Hi. I just want to give a big shout out to Faye. Big fan of your music. I just wanted to ask a question. Yeah. That's cool. Of course. Where do you like the inspiration for your music? Like, how do you, you know, get into a groove or, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great question. Um, okay. Where do I get the inspiration for my music? Uh, honestly, I try to pull as much from just my life and my experiences um, as I can. I, I've tried writing songs just to write songs, <laughs> and I always feel like those are the weaker ones that are harder for other people to connect to. So, yeah, I just try to write from as, as honestly as possible from stuff that I experience and mm -hmm. about the way that I understand the world around me. And that's not always easy because... Um, oh. Yeah. How do you like try and like no? Because I have trouble with this. I'm also a musician, but how do you like get that into like like words? How do I get that into words? Um. um oh yeah, that's, that's a hard tough. question. Um. How do I get that into words? That's honestly the hardest part. Um. I don't even know how would do it, like. It just, just kind of happens. Scream it out loud yeah. and hope that you'll remember it. <laughs> Most of the time, I just sit down at the piano and it just kind of comes out. I know that's not helpful, <laughs> um, but I believe that inspiration is something that when it's there, you just have to grasp it. Like you can't, if you have an idea for a song, it works to write it down and maybe come back to it later. But I find for me, it's easiest when I have, I feel that feeling of inspiration. I just have to sit down and write it right there. Otherwise the thought is gone. And then five months later, Kehlani is releasing a song that I know I should have written, but I didn't because I let that inspiration go. So yeah, yeah. just got to yeah. take it while it's there. <laughs> in other, so in other words, just be free with it. Yeah. Just kind of just roll with it. And trust yourself. I think it's all about yeah. trust. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. Take care. <laughs> Woo! That's Wee. awesome. I know that's that could be like really, really, really hard. Yeah. Oh, great. We have Ringing one more caller. Let's get ringing off the hook. <laughs> what's up? What's up? You got Faye over here. Hey. Um. So I actually went to Berkeley with Faye. Hey, girl. Hi. Hey. Stuff here. Uh, I just wanted to know, like, when you like, really figured out your sound. When did I? Yeah. I think that's something I'm still working on, honestly. Um, I'm working on my EP right now, and I listen to the songs every day and question whether or not it's my sound. Um, but I think I'm just kind of finally starting to get there now. Um, yeah. I don't know if that answers your question. <laughs> Hello, Steph? 
No? Hello? Did we get disconnected? No! Oh yeah, I that's my didn't. answer. <laughs> Oh, I hear her. Oh, I mean, I hear, I hear, I hear the, like, yeah. the... Oh, man. <laughs> Steph, Steph? Do you hear us? She's calling from L.A., so... Oh, wow. Yeah. We got an L.A. caller. <laughs> what, what? Like, what, what? <laughs> That's mad love. You know, this is how... This is... You know what, Faith? This is great that you're keeping communication mm -hmm. and also surrounding yourself with people that desire the same thing that you desire. Mm -hmm. And, like, I happen to know you, so now I'm happy that I know people like that. Yeah. So, um, show, show maybe be calling back. We'll see. That's all right. Uh, but in the meantime, we definitely have to show this amazing, fabulous video. And we'll get back to the um, calls if we have a little bit of time. But right now, I'm going to, you know, put that off. <laughs> I never need a sleep till I live next to you. Now all I do is dream on oh, what's a girl to do. Because when you touch me, oh, it is. display out you know what i mean this was in like every instrument was being played you seen everything like yeah. it was raw how long did this process take 
Um, that specific filming of that video, we were in the studio from like 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. And then it took like four months to get it edited and mixed just because we're all in school and stuff. Yeah. So we're all busy. Uh, so yeah, it was like a four, five month process. <laughs> Yes. Well, it was amazing, amazing, and it was amazing to have you here blessing us with your knowledge and your beautiful spirit and beautiful vibe. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. This is your girl, Kateria, a.k.a. Casey Exposed, with a special with Faye. Check her out, faymusic.com, everything. You know we're going to spread the love. You know all the platforms we got going on. So thank you, Faye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yay. Yes. Girl power. Yes. I just have to say that. Yes. yes. Girl power. <laughs> 